Right. There's a list there of everything we've got to do. Sarah, Read I it. Think... We've got a lot to get through if we're going to make that flight tomorrow. <clears throat> Number one, washing. Yeah, and you can start by getting all that dirty stuff from the bathroom and I'll take it down the laundrette. Well, that's only going to take me a couple of minutes, isn't it? And then you can get on with cleaning the place up. Oh, I see. Number two. That's my job, is it? Yes, it is. And don't forget the cheesy socks that have been under your bed for the last week. <laughs> my life's an open book. Yeah, well, you can't hide anything from me. You said your goodbyes yet, have you? Uh, not really. I uh, I was going to do it later on today. Well, you can put that on the list then. Yeah. You know, I think... Dad, the washing. I had a long talk with Dad the other night. And what happened? Well, it made me realise I have to go with him to Dubai. What do you mean? It's what I want. <laughs> well, you could have fooled me. Seems like two minutes ago you were asking me and Phil if you could move in with us. I've changed my mind. Oh, just like that? Well, yeah. He hasn't forced you into this, has he? Sarah. He needs me. I need to survive without you. Look, he gave up a lot for us when we came down from Norwich. He sacrificed a lot for me. Yeah, I know that. And it's great that you care about your dad, but... But you're 16, Sarah. You're not responsible for him. It's the other way round, or at least it's supposed to be. Auntie Kath, I'm going with him. Well, if that's what you want. At the end of the day, I suppose it's up to you, isn't it? I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. A bit surprised. No, it was Sarah's decision. What made her change her mind? Well, you know what kids are like. Yeah. And I remember being a kid too and having a dad who was incapable of seeing anything for anyone else's eyes except his own. I know you ain't forgotten that. She's coming with me, Cass. She needs me. Well, that's funny. She told me she's going with you because she thinks you need her, not the other way around. She said that, did she? Yes, yeah, she did. And I'm beginning to wonder who exactly you're looking out for. Listen, when do I ever come round your house and tell you how to bring up Ian or Ben? That's not fair. Sarah's made her choice. End of story. Hey, Edla, I didn't mean to interfere. I was just concerned for Sarah, that's all. Look, don't worry about it. Hey, you and Phil, you can come visit. Come out there for a little while, will In me dreams. Everything's all right now with you two, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's all great. She sort with Phil's counselling and work. She's up and struggled to get him to go park on a Saturday afternoon, that long holiday. <laughs> I just got used to having you around. Do you be in there? I'm gonna miss you. Hey, yeah. All right, did Joe find you? No. Well, he was looking for you. Right, um, I was gonna come around and see you, actually. I've got something to tell you. I knew Dad would find a way to get you. So what did he do? Did he break down and cry with her violins playing? Was it like that? I'm going because I want to. Oh, so he didn't bang on about what a struggle it was bringing us up. The sacrifices he made, how he's got nothing now. You really hate him, don't you? No, just don't respect him. I think he's jealous. Of what? You and me. In our own ways, we're getting on with our own lives and he don't like it. Makes him feel inadequate, so he has to destroy it. I feel sorry for him more than anything else. Oh, look, um, don't listen to me. I'm, I'm sorry. I ain't worked out with Dad. And you have. Says a lot for you. Maybe it'll do you good to get away from here. Walford's hardly been kind to you. All that business with Robbie and that creep Alistair. Yeah, but I've learned from all that. I feel like I found out who I really am. Like you have. Me? Well, you and Simon. Sort of. I reckon that we've both learned a lot about ourselves and we're just both going forwards. I just wish Dad could do the same. He's trying to, Tony. In his own way, that's why he's decided to go. There's one big difference. You and me have thrown away the crutches. You haven't told Joe, have you? No. You've got to tell him, and pretty quick. I know. I just don't want to leave him. You're really serious about him, aren't you? Sarah? You know, I've never felt like this about anyone. I wrote to Mum, you know. Gave her the phone number. And she never called. No. What about Kathy? Have you tried to talk to her again? Hello, son. No, I'd better be going. I'll, I'll talk to you later, yeah? Tony! Sarah? Joe called round earlier. 